Today I'm sharing one of my latest and greatest fat burning smoothie recipes, the classic strawberry smoothie. I realized I have so many different types of smoothie recipes, but not one just like classic strawberry smoothie. But don't be fooled by the name, this has so much flavor. <laughs> and the ingredients are also supportive of a weight loss goal. My name's Autumn, I'm a certified clinical nutritionist with my master's in nutrition human performance. And in today's video, we're actually using my brand new protein powder, which is finally here. I specifically developed this for the community with your goals in mind and it tastes amazing and I can't wait for you guys to try it. Actually with every bag of protein powder you get a free download of 10 recipes that I specifically designed using my protein powder. So if you want to grab a bag or three of my protein powder you can check out the link down description below or head over to my website at autumnlnutrition.com forward slash shop. Okay so we're going to be starting off with some coconut milk. I love using unsweetened coconut milk, but you can use any nut or seed milk. This is a much better option, especially if you're looking to achieve a weight loss goal than using coconut water or oat milk, both of which have some sugar in there, which would not be supportive of a weight loss goal. Okay, so next for the protein base, we're actually gonna be using a combination of my vanilla protein powder and some Greek yogurt. If you aren't a fan of Greek yogurt, you could double up and use a full serving of protein powder. I really like using this combination of protein powder with Greek yogurt. I just think you get so much of the flavor from the protein powder, especially with mine, zero sugar. Mm. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. <laughs> All right, but then you also get the creaminess from the Greek yogurt. Now, one thing that I did when I was designing my protein powders, I specifically made sure it blended well, it didn't clump, and it tasted amazing in every recipe. So you can still use a full serving of protein powder as well. Add in a half serving, which is one scoop of my protein powder. All right. <laughs> it just smells so good. That was like also one of the tests that I did when I was developing my protein powder. I had to test like the sniff test, which is where you open the bag, you smell it, and you're just like, mm, I want to eat it. Anyway, next up, we have the Greek yogurt. So Greek yogurt also has protein in it too. So we're getting protein from both the protein powder as well as from the Greek yogurt. So I'm gonna do about a half a cup here. Now this smoothie with these ingredients will provide about 20 grams of protein. But if like your protein needs are about 30 grams, then you could just use a full serving of protein powder. And that's an easy way to adjust the protein content. So it's gonna be good. Mm -mm. The next for our fiber, we have chia seeds. I love using chia seeds because they are such an easy way to get a lot of fiber with just like one or two tablespoons. You also get some fats in there as well. So especially for a weight loss goal, you want that combination of protein and fat. Helps to keep you satisfied, helps to ward off cravings for snacking or for sugar later in the day. So we're going to use about one tablespoon here. And then next up we have peanut butter. So when working toward a weight loss goal, it's really important to make sure you go for unsweetened. You can use crunchy, you can use creamy, it doesn't really matter. As long it's unsweetened. So if you're fairly active, you might want to go for about two tablespoons of peanut butter. If you're not as active, you could go for one, but it's really dependent on your satiety levels. I'm pretty active, so I'm going to go for two tablespoons. Nom, nom, nom. Mm -mm. Mm, 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 mm. So another one of my like little sneaky hacks to keep the sugar down but really ramp up the flavor is to add in vanilla extract. So you could use about like a half teaspoon or so or maybe a full teaspoon. You don't need a lot. It just helps to build on the flavor a little bit more all without adding sugar. Now for the fruit. So we're using strawberries. These were actually strawberries that were starting to like kind of go bad. So I just stuck them straight in the freezer literally like this and it actually worked out pretty well. So I'm just going to add in about a half a cup of frozen and strawberries. Perfect. Especially for a weight loss goal, strawberries are fantastic because they're super low in sugar. In general, when working toward a weight loss goal, you wanna opt for berries, especially strawberries, raspberries, and blackberries. They're really, really low in sugar, making it a much better option for a weight loss goal. So since the protein powder doesn't have sugar, since the rest of the ingredients are unsweetened, the only sugar coming from this smoothie are from the strawberries. And at about a half cup of frozen strawberries, that's only going to be around four grams of sugar. Okay. Now we're gonna give it a blend. Oh, oh my gosh, that smells so good. <laughs> All right, before I add toppings, I just need to try it. Oh my gosh. It's like a strawberry milkshake. That is like a classic flavor that everyone will love. Wow, I actually think this is my new favorite. That's really good. <laughs> so one of my personal favorite zero sugar toppings is using cacao nibs. This is actually the raw form of chocolate and it's really rich in fiber, surprisingly rich in fiber. And it's also a fat source too. And it's kind of like having a chocolate covered strawberry smoothie. So like we just keep getting better and better. 
I know I say this every time, but this is really good. <laughs> the main problem I've seen with other smoothies, I'm drooling. The main problem I've seen with other smoothies is they just fall flat. Like the flavor is not there. But with the vanilla from the protein powder, it's not overpowering. It's not too sweet. It just really enhances the flavor of the ingredients in the smoothie. It's just like, I mean, I love food. <laughs> so I made sure the protein powder actually tasted amazing in all these different recipes. Cheers to awesome food, guys. We all should be eating really good food. Mm. Make sure you guys test this one out. And if you wanna grab my zero sugar whey isolate protein powder that I designed for you guys and for your goals, you can grab it with the link down description below or at autumnlnutrition.com forward slash shop. Otherwise, if you wanna see the launch video and like the whole process, full transparency of how this was actually made, you can check that video out right here. All right, smoothie cheers guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Smoothie dance. <laughs>